Hello, hello, hello. Morning, afternoon, good night, wherever you are. It's me, Danica, with Lady Luck Junk. And today, we're going to look in a lot of jewelry bags. You ready? It's a lot. I don't know how we're going to get through it all, but... And here it is. I decided to do this in my backyard because there's a good light and we can see stuff. But guess who forgot their tripod at work? <laughs> womp womp me. Okay, so our Goodwill used to do jewelry jars, something like this, for years and years. You could pick them up for 10, 20 bucks and then they stopped. And then the other day I went in there and they had all these bags and I got so excited that I bought them all. <laughs> and they're all different prices. So we've got $10.99, $15. These big ones were $30. This one was $24. Let's see, $24. $34. Anyway, you get the idea. They're all different prices. I don't know if it's based on what's inside or if it's based on weight or what, but I got a, a tub there for broken uh, jewelry or not jewelry. Sometimes you get not jewelry and then some little Tupperwares for stuff that is good and wearable and hopefully I can get somebody to hold my camera for me or prop it up. I'll be back. Another stretchy, stretchy for days. There's some kids yelling in the background, walking down the street. <laughs> stretchy. Let's see. Chip's got an idea. Maybe. Um, a beaded cuff that's one of those stretchy ones. Got, let's see, what are you? Uh, some sort of. This should hold it. You just gotta get it at the right angle. You gotta hang it off something. Like this bucket or something. Well, I'm about to use that bucket. I know, you just have to throw it into the bucket over the. <laughs> doing yeah, it's not real stable either um, this is props to all you people who do jewelry jars and do them correctly sorry I guess the the whole idea for me is to see if I've got any good stuff like gold silver antique collectible pieces that one's pretty wearable this one is some sort of shell got some wooden beads that's little Ooh. okay chips gonna try something else Focused right at the table. You just need to talk to that thing. You know. You want to bring it closer? Or? I don't know. I can't see. This is pretty purple, stretchy. Right now, your your hand is right at the top of right here. <clears throat> now it's at the top. It's like right in the middle. Wow, 
art right here. We got a bolo. Merca. Well, that wasn't working. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through all this, all this, and I'm going to put the broken pieces to one side. I'm gonna put the good pieces uh, that are wearable to the other side, and then I will show you at the end, I guess. What I got? I don't know. Like, how am I supposed to show you all this dang jewelry? Ooh, that's interesting. So, yeah. Flip this around. It's like a big piece. Oh, I thought this would be a bead harvest. That's that cool piece. I don't know if you could see it in the last thing. That's kind of neat. Somebody made that. And that is missing some stones. Bead harvest. That's not stretchy. I don't know who that's supposed to fit though. Um, got a magnet here. Oh, that's no. That's just a pretty little, delicate little costume piece. This one, pretty, keep it, stretchy, somebody went to Belize, what is this, what is it, Oh, a little colored Tennis bracelet. That is very fake. <laughs> oh, I see rhinestones. Come on, don't be broke. Will you go to the prom with me? And I wear this. It's a 
broken. It's in good shape. Boy, we know how to party on a Tuesday night, huh? I've been saying that all day. It's weird. This one's stretchy. Yep. This says 2017. I don't know if that represents pride or if it represents something else. It's cute. Uh oh, we got a snaker. Sniker. I call them snakers. What do you call them? <laughs> now that song is stuck in my head. This is, this one's not magnetic. We'll set that to the side. Look at it later. What? No, what? Now we can go to the prom, baby. I got my corsage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My croissage. Hippopotamus stretch ring. I don't know. <laughs> so, what I'm doing is putting the, the pieces that I find that are good in this jewelry box. So far, I just found one 925 bracelet, two brooches that are marked. I'm throwing the broken pieces in this, and then I've got uh, bracelets in that bucket. More like uh, leather bracelets there. And this is the necklace pile so far. I need to kind of figure out something else to do with this. But I'm not I'm not going to show you every little piece because it's going to take forever. But I do want to give you updates as I'm digging through. All right. When I find something um, special and I found something special. It is a cinnamon stick Santa pin. I mean, come on. Like... <laughs> Somebody hand painted it. <laughs> um, I'm starting to find more brooches and pendants. I think this is David Yearman. Oh, sorry. And this is one of those little, this is dumb, you can't focus. Focus. You know, the moving pendants. Yeah. It's starting to surround me. It's surrounding me. Ooh. Okay. So, we got a long way to go, you guys. <laughs> All right. So, I had to plug in my phone. It's getting dark, you guys. I'm, I may have to wrap this up in the morning. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe next month. I'm still digging. Still digging. Crickets are cricking. Necklaces. Pendants. Hard bangles. Stretchy bracelet. I mean, this really and truly could go on forever. I'm not finding very much broken. Like, this is all the broken. <clears throat> These are brooches. And this is 
marked or silver? No gold yet. But we still have one, two, three, four, five bags. Whew! My fingers smell like metal. Does that happen to you? Oh, look, I got a David Yerman and a Kendra Scott bracelet for me. Yay! Here's an update. It's 9.42. This is all rings. Some of them are, um, have been, they're costume and they've been worn too much and they're probably trash, but I've just been throwing every ring in there. Oh, let me slow down. I'm sorry. These are mainly pendants. And um, this is a tangled ball. I'm about to dump out another bag because I'm just leaving the tangled ball at the bottom. And I'm leaving earrings on the table. This is all the broken so far. And this is all the good sellable marked pieces. This is all pendants. And these are those chunky, bunky, monkey necklaces <laughs> that soccer moms wore a lot. Um, I don't know if anybody still wears those right now, but I love the rock stones, the, the pinks, and the, I don't know. I was, I don't consider that trash. It may not have a lot of market value right now, but. Something that tells me to hang on to those. Um, what else? That's it. These are the necklaces. Quite a few. <laughs> None of them are tangled, so that's good. This part is. Even my magnet is <laughs> stuck in here. All right, back to work. I may be doing this in the morning, but I'll try to get get a little further tonight. There we go. Hi, Chip. Hi. How was the debate? Uh, yeah, we won't talk about it right yeah. now. <laughs> Well, we're going to call it a night. In the morning, we'll hopefully finish this one bag left in this pile. Here we go. Good night, sparkles. Hey. 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 Is it time to go bed? Oh, his eyes are so... This is like normal, right? This is like everybody's backyard. Like they just put their laptop and sort that. jewelry. <laughs> is this normal? Good morning again. I don't know what I was thinking doing this jewelry outside. <laughs> it's a mess, you guys. I woke up this morning thinking, uh, nightmares about it <laughs> anyway jewelry jars are fun I recommend getting them in small batches <laughs> this is way too much to handle way too much to handle um, I did find quite a bit of silver and little gold I think my favorite piece I found was somebody's charm bracelet it's super sweet um, it's everything is marked 925 on it um, so what I'm gonna do is put this stuff in lots and put it on my Poshmark and my Macari and just move it out move it out lady luck junk on both if y'all are interested in any of it 
a lot of that video that I took last night you couldn't see because it just got so dark. But there's like mega, 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 mega costume jewelry. This jar is all rings. <laughs> uh, this one is all, what do you call them? Bangles. Bangle, bangle, bangle. This one, this tub is all bracelets. A lot of them are the stretchy kind. Some cuffs. There's still a bag I haven't even gone through, guys. This is just massive. And again, not very much broken. Not very much broken at all. And this is... This is the stuff that I'm going to be listing individually. It's, um... Silver and gold and some vintage pieces. Some marked pieces. So was it worth it? I don't know. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> I should be getting up the the listings in a couple of days. Again, if you're interested in something you saw, let me know. Or oh, sorry, I get sidetracked with sparkles so easy. Um, or if you don't ever want to see me do a really bad jewelry haul again, let me know. <laughs> I don't blame you at all. It's it's everywhere, you guys. Like, everywhere. I should just swim in it, huh? You're still here? <laughs> You're awesome. Thank you for still being here. Listen, I got an idea. If you're still here, leave a comment down below about the favorite piece that you saw and the number 777. That's going to enter you into a contest that I will announce the winner next Wednesday. And you will get a prize. Want a prize? Probably be jewelry. <laughs> Y'all be good, be safe, be kind, and see you next week.